when uh, I got the house, my mom bought me this here cook rate barbecue. Uh, I think from Canadian Tire or something like that. It's been outside uncovered for uh, 10 years. 10 years. So it's finally got a problem here uh, with the cook rate. Oh, I do have lots of briquettes I can transfer to the new barbecue. But anyways, it's in good condition. It's a nice little barbecue. The problem is, is that underneath this tube leads to the gas burner. There's two. One of them was rotten and it broke off the burner up inside. So there's a hole there. Well, if you have a problem like that, the gas will come back and it'll start on fire here. This is the regulator prior to going to the propane tank down the hose. So if you have fires here, that could be a real problem. Plus it's at waste level. So, this barbecue has been running on just one burner. But when you live in Canada and it's minus 30 out, one burner doesn't cut it. It takes an hour just to heat up. So, my mom wanted a new barbecue. So she got one and I got their old barbecue. Which I had to take apart and fix up a bit. So, hooked up the gas, started it going, and it caught fire down by the tubes. So I cleaned it all out. There's the briquettes, but I'm going to use some of my old ones. And then well, the other problem is it's kind of cracked back at this side here. So the gas doesn't come out evenly, so you can only have it on low. But that's all there is to the barbecue. And then that little rack where the briquettes go. Well, that's it. So, oh no, I cleaned it up, made sure all the rust was out, it caught fire the first time, and now it's running okay. So I'm going to put the briquettes and the grill back in. And underneath, there's so far no fires again. It's good, looking good. Everything sounds right, and so far so good. So I'll put it back together. Well, here's the barbecue. Got the brush on it. And good to go now. All fixed up. Cooking up burgers. All reassembled. So anyways, that's how you survive a hard economy. You just wait till somebody gets rid of their barbecue and then you just fix it up, take it apart. It doesn't cost you anything if you just take it apart. And if worse comes to worse, you take it to the scrapyard, you get five bucks or some stupid thing. But either way, it doesn't take much. There's like very few parts to a barbecue. It's not complicated. So I'll give it a try. Get a free barbecue.